Hey guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today I'm coming at you with an install video of Magic Lantern 2.3. So, if this is the first version of Magic Lantern, or maybe you've had Magic Lantern in the past and decided to try it out again, this is by far is the most stable version. Um, actually, you really can't tell that it's unstable at all. It's almost perfect. Um, it integrates with the Canon software so well, um, it's quite amazing. So what I'm going to be showing you how to do is install version 2.3 on a PC. I will be doing a Mac version as well so just stay tuned for that. You'll, both versions will be available for you to watch. So step one of course would be put your dial mode into M. So if you know you got your dial right up here as you can see um, your dial right there you want to have that in the M mode. Once you've done that you want to throw your SD card into the camera Once it's done that, you're going to hit Menu, and you're going to scroll over to Format. Now, you're going to Format. Now, make sure you hit, you get the low level. To turn the low level on and off, you just hit the Delete button down here in the bottom right. Okay, so now you've got the low level turned on, and you're just going to hit OK. It's going to do a low level format. Once that has finished, we're going to go back over to the PC, and we're going to install some files. So let's do that. All right, we are back at the PC now. Now I have put my SD card into an SD card reader. This will not work if you try to go through your actual camera. You do need to take the SD card out and put it into an SD card reader to install Magic Lantern. Now we are at Magic Lantern's new website, which is fantastic. They have forms, they have information you can read. Things uh, there's just a lot of lot of good information about Magic Lantern that you didn't have on the uh, wiki website now their new website is magiclantern.fm there will be a link down in my description bar if you want to go check it out it's pretty awesome so once you get to the website you're going to want to click on ml 2.3 right here now magic lantern 2.3 is not available to the general public quite yet right now they're just allowing supporters to get it early like myself um, where i can test it out and see what i think about it as well, if you wanted to donate, I believe it is 10 euro. They'll send you can download a uh, the, the copy. But come August 1st, this should be available for everybody. Now, if you have any questions about which firmware you need to run Magic Lantern, if you notice right here, it has all the different uh, cameras it works on and the firmware it uses. So, um, if you're using a T3i, you need to have uh, firmware 1.0.2. Um, so you would download it here and, uh, and then would download to whatever your designated spot was. I have already downloaded it, which I have it right here, so I'm going to open it up here. All right, so there it is, and we're going to go into my computer, and we're going to go into this. So you have the DCIM and SMISC folders. So there's nothing else in there, so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of these, go back to that other folder. So we'll downsize this, and we're just going to drag and drop it right onto the SD card. Very simple. So right now it's going to put all these files onto the SD card, and then we're going to head back to the camera. Um, this is the same process that it has been for uh, the previous build. I just thought I would put out a new, uh, a new way, or show you guys how to install it for anybody new out there. So once that's done. We're going to go back to my computer, we're going to right click, we're going to hit eject, and we're going to head back to the camera. Alright, so now that you've put all the files onto the SD card, turn your camera on, make sure it's still in the M mode. We're going to throw the card in here. Once the card's in, hit menu. You want to scroll down to the third yellow wrench. Make sure that you do have firmware version 1.0.2. If you don't, go to the Canon website or just go to Google and type in Canon T3i, and that's the camera I'm using here, um, Canon T3i firmware version 1.0.2, and it should put something to pop up to connect you to the Canon website. Therefore, you can download it. So once you've done that, hit this. We want to update the firmware. So now it's going to update your firmware. It doesn't take that long at all. Successful. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the camera off. Turn the camera on. 
hit the delete button and there you go you have magic lantern now as you guys can see there we'll zoom in a little bit get the focus just right the system is a little bit different um, I'm not going to go into too many details I'm going to be doing a full review on it here soon but the cool thing is I can click into this and I can use like say I want to change my ISO I can use my dial up at the top now to do it and there's a new integrated system that will allow you to use Magic Lantern outside of these menus I believe but I haven't done too much research into that so 2.3 seems like an extremely stable and amazing uh, piece of software that's been added in um, much better than the previous piece I believe so for all you PC users hopefully this helped you out this is the same exact process you would use if you are a Mac user but there is going to be a Mac uh, video as well so anyways thank you guys for your time check us out on Facebook at David D images and Twitter at media unlocked